What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. I don't know whether to be happy or sad about that. Maybe excited, maybe a conglomerate of everything. We are live on Twitch watching this, by the way. If you guys would ever like to come on, every JJK episode is going to be live on Twitch. Before we get into anything, we do have a Q&A section in the Discord where you guys can ask me questions about shows and I'll try to answer them beforehand. Let's get into today's questions. All right, so a regular question asker, uh, thank you, Quagmire. He asks, who do you think is the most guilty in the Shibuya Massacre? This is a parable. Someone, uh, he's giving an example. Jogo gives a knife to a crazy person, Yuji, then the crazy person, Sakuna, fought with someone in the CSCS. Yes, yes. Completely understandable. When you get into blame or assigning fault, it can be a very interesting and long discussion. It goes back to who's initially to blame the person who created the situation or the person in the situation who's actually doing the harm. If I had to say who's most guilty, it's going to be a combination of both. I'm going to say number one is definitely Sukuna because he actively chose to participate and do in all those things. <sighs> I guess he was fighting, but no, like, yes, Sukuna is number one in terms of guilty for me. Number two would be fake Ghetto because he or technically orchestrated all this. And without his expertise or advice on how this could happen with the sealing gojo this would have all been stopped seamlessly and not even come close to this so i'm gonna say number one sakuna who i'm blaming for how tragic this is and number two fake ghetto even though they could be somewhat interchangeable because you know but great question it gets very difficult to signing blame especially uh, it's so hard it's so hard next question comes from simlength also avid question asker thank you so much he says in season one gojo says he believes three people can someday beat him the three people being hakari yuta and yuji do you think they're going to reach their peak and become stronger than Gojo, as he said, or even Gojo, uh, as he said, now that even Gojo is struggling against the current Curse Alliance? Great question. I have yet to see anything on Hawkery. All I know is that he was mentioned by Gojo, like you said, and isn't he a third year and also suspended? I believe that's why we don't see him at the school. I, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember my season one. It was right when Yuji was like fake dead and uh, Gojo was having his little venting to EGG and the fucking autopsy room with shoko but yuta absolutely with everything that happened in zero and it being found out that yuta and gojo are distant relatives and he's one of the distant ancestors of one of the three great apparitions of japan yuta i have no doubt will become gojo level at one point yuji also because of main character because of certain plot i'm not saying that in a bad way but i just I have faith that Yuji will be Gojo level as well, so it is uh, it is very crazy. Hakari, I just can't say because I have no idea. I haven't even seen the guy. I've seen a picture of him during that scene, but that's about it. I'm very excited to get these characters and uh, get a little bit more into them. Thank you so much for the questions, guys. All right, here we go. We're breaking on the street level. Mahito's going insane. Oh, huge shout out Mahito's voice actor. Absolutely killing it. Come on. I love how seamless that was. Come on. Oh my God, the creativity. I hate and I love this boy Mahito. Oh my God. Look at goddamn crab. I love these shots. Polymorphic soul isomer? He's combining souls. Oh, these POV shots are incredible. I love this song. Eight million battle IQ Toto. Come on, keep thinking. Yeah, but this is a conglomerate one. I don't think this one's going to be as the same. Yeah. It has to be a minimum grade one. I, d I don't think it's necessarily special grade, but this thing is not grade three or two. Switch with that, motherfucker. Love it. Come on. Yeah. 
And there's two more. As long as we can outwit, be creative, there's a possibility. I love that. Pitiful souls. The creativity behind Mahito and how fluid he uses his power, I will never not love it. And now it is just us. Yuji looks so determined, so focused and locked in right now. I love it. It's so hard going against just multiple transfigured humans, though. Look at this. Oh, my God. The 100 sign? That's fire. You think you're avoiding this tag team duo? You're... You know it's not working on Yuji, but it will work on Toto. I do like how Mahito is actually thinking as well. During, during the time when Gojo just said fuck it, is like yeah what are we doing <sighs> that is so gojo like it's not even funny shout out yuki for teaching him that oh my god this shot is amazing of course of course it's when he's in his awakened metamorphic Aido really does not give a fuck. <laughs> That's something that can be recovered, right? We we don't we don't have a Sakuna in Toto's body to be able to regenerate that hand. I love the quick reaction time. That's like some fucking A from Naruto Shippuden shit. Shout out to Matarasu, but like... Am I incorrect in thinking we need to clap? That's Toto's whole thing. Bro. If I lose Toto right now, I'm not watching the show. I swear on everything I love. So instead of actually being able to... He is so in the zone right now, it's pissing me off. On some co shit from Hunter Hunter. Oh my god. Oh, and it still did that. Broke it probably like three ribs. Bro. Now we can use his technique again. And he. Oh, this shot is amazing. You. You never seen a slice of life anime opening, huh? His brother and his wife. I love how it has to let us know it's his imagination. Bro, it's like I'm watching fucking Torador or something. I love this. What is going on? His idol is giving him strength. Hitting him with that slice of life love barrage. He clapped with Mahito's hand. Oh my god. With... Oh, I'm so glad, Toto. Oh, we fucked up his other hand, too. Even that split second. You were the best friend and support a guy in this world can ask for, Toto. Oh my god. I... Thank you, Toto. So, I'm fucking starting to tear up, man. That's my boy. No, the metamorphosis in this episode's title better not be referring to Mahito. There's no way he's getting a new form. Frieza? Just when I was like, finally, we can have what? Every single time, Mahito does something, bro. Every time. This reminds me of Choso and Yuji. 
Oh. Slow walk to a build up to a run, to a sprint. If there's one thing, even with your transfigured OPness, that Yuji might be able to do is beat you in hand to hands, bro. I'm gonna give you that left, right, good night. Harder than Choso's in. Did he dodge that? No. What got cut? Oh, fuck, man. Yuji is lightning fast dodging this. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> and just like that, we're going back down to the sub. Oof. It wouldn't be a great anime fight if there weren't some water. Bro, every single time I think we have an up on him, we have the advantage. He does bullshit. That's about to change. I love how you can see his teeth through the hole in his jaw, which we got. Oh my god. After all this, it feels like we're just now getting the start of Yuji and Mahito. Like I said, that's about to change. <laughs> Love this song when they play it. Ooh, light off his fist. Switch sides was right side being the dangerous one. Oh, the divergent fist. Yuji's speciality. Bro, this man is an acclamation of the soul. Oh my god! He did that to fake him out? One of those fake totals? I hate hearing that, man. Was that purely a fake out? Oh my god, the way this is lit right now. Oh my god. Look at this. I love the dark heavy lines. This looks incredible. Oh my god. We could not have done that without Toto. This man Yuji's black flashing at will. Are you out? Are you finally out of souls? Seeing his jaw through his mouth. Oh my god. He accepts it. Oh my god. Look at that face. ただお前を殺す。また新しい呪いとして生まれたら、こいつも殺す。名前を変えても姿を変えても何度でも殺す。変な呪いを殺し続ける。I I Yuji, I feel so bad because of everything he's gone through, but Yuji might be one of the most badass gangster don't give a fuck characters in JJK right now. If you're slow walking to catch up to someone who's running, ooh, as you see the rabbits running away from the wolf and the symbolism, you went from predator to prey, my boy. It's over for you. As its leg is, I love the symbolism in this. This is literally the way of the world. This is how... This is the natural order of things. He is the alpha. Oh my god, with the same scar. Oh my god. Whoever directed some of these episodes, the... <laughs> Just kiss to you. It's actually crazy seeing Mahito be this pathetic. Getu? Fake Ghetto? Oh no, what is he doing here? We never got to see what happened with Meimei either. I, 
it's I've never felt this combination of emotions right now. I don't know whether I want to punch my monitor or be happy. As I don't know. Like I'm stuck. That I've said this season has been a roller coaster of emotions. That entire episode was an entire ride in and of itself. From the lowest of lows to me legit thinking, could we lose Toto to the highest of highs were a clap is the amalgamation of the soul. My man Toto could not have said it better. I don't know how to feel. I'm equally mad and I'm equally happy. Toto is one of the realest brothers in the world. Yuji had so many good moments in this, but it all got ruined by Ghetto. We have two more episodes left. Are we gonna have a, a resolution episode? Are we gonna be able to wrap this up or are we just gonna be left on the ultimate cliffhanger? Like who? We never got to see what happened with Mei Mei because uh, fake Ghetto said, you deal with the smallpox deity, you come and deal with me. You know, so we don't know what's going on with Kusakabe. We don't know what's going on with Panda. We don't know what happened to Inumaki. He was in the area when Sukuna did his domain expansion. We don't know what happened to Maki. Now I'll be telling, I'm pretty sure we know. <laughs> I think this is gonna go down in history as one of the best anime seasons congruently of all time, but it's also gonna be one where I look back on it, like certain moments of AOT where it was like, yes, it was one of the greatest moments of my life, but it hurt my soul so much. Like fucking Mahito having his transformation only to be, oh my, the Divergent Fist. I love how it was a Yuji classic that did it mixed with, to oh, absolutely incredible. Like I said, whoever directed this, whoever animated this, Mappa, you guys deserve praise. Absolutely. Thank you. It's insane. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want the full length version, come over to the Twitch or check out that Patreon. Um, other than that, drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Let's pray. Next week is greatness. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.